Some people seem to be having a few problems in getting up and running with this Excel add-in to get the Amazon data coming through to their spreadsheets. So hopefully this little video will help you out in getting going. Uh, first of all, let's go through the tools at the top once you've installed the add-in. Um, first thing you need to do is go to settings. Uh, there are a few things I need to do. Oops, popped up in a the window there are a few things I need to do to the plugin just to make it work right off the bat but just so you get over a few hurdles first thing is go to the settings bring up this window make sure you give this a click it may look grayed out to begin with just give it a click turn it on or off um, that's one thing then if you don't see any values in these windows give the reset button a click and they'll all pop in there and that's about it. You need to do your MWS settings, your adding license key, and so on. But that's all you need to get going. Just make sure you click that and do the reset. Now, for a little test, uh, since I first created this, I've changed the interface a little bit. It used to be you could select something, click the button, and it do all the work. But I've added a, like a user form that pops up. I need to give it a different name. It's called user form and you need to interact with that a little bit. So what do I mean? What I'm going to do is um, let's do coconut and then I'm just going to do red. I'm just making words up here. So I'm going to say I want to search for three things. Now, when you have a spreadsheet, you normally have other bits and pieces. You might have headings up here. Um, let's say title. Um, let's say color. And yep, that's the English spelling. Let's say size. You get the idea. We're, we've got different types of data coming in. And what I did was I want to be able to get the data from Amazon, but keep all these additional columns. So to begin with, when I I would just do this, press the button. It had only copied this over to a new spreadsheet and get all the data from Amazon. Then you'd have to try and marry it up back to your original spreadsheet. Well, I've changed that so that now you, you can highlight all the data on your spreadsheet that you want to transfer to a new sheet along with all the Amazon data. So what you do is highlight it all. And in this case, we're going to search on text. So I'm going to click the text button. It's opened up on a the window here we go and you'll see the data range and it's already set to the data range that you selected if you want to change that you can give it a click and it says input cells and, and you just start doing this business and it updates again and then brings it in here we've got headers so choose my range has headers and that way it's not going to search Amazon for the word title and then this is really important you must have this one product identifier now, because we're selecting, selecting a full range of data here, I need to say which column of data do we need to look at to do the search on Amazon. So the product identifier column, all you need to do is click in there and click what we're going to search. So if it was EANs, UPCs, ASIN, SKUs, or in this case title, just click on column A down here, just inside the range. Give that a click and you'll see that it updates. That's all you need. Click the start button and then it should go through and start bringing the data back. You can see it's working through. Nearly done. It's done your three searches, brought 10 results back for each. No idea why it's bringing a, an error back for ASIN for that. Um, but this really uh, just demonstrates how it all all can be used. You can see here what it's done. If we go back to the original, it's copied these three columns of data back here, filled them in, and then it's brought the data back from Amazon.